Just doing a quick video to test the speed of the CPUs in both the iPod Touch 4 which will be my default for the iPhone 4 and the Samsung Galaxy S2. I've got a version of Nova, the original first game, on both applications and I'm going to do a startup test to see and test the speed. First of all, I'm going to delete and make sure that there is no advantage for either one. That should be that. And now let's test it out. You can see Samsung Galaxy S2 started out quickly. colours on the Samsung Galaxy S2 is far more vivid and bright and pops out. Hopefully you can see that on the actual screen. And you can see the blacks on the actual Samsung Galaxy S are far more black than they are on the iPod touch screen. I should state that the game on the Samsung Galaxy S is not the full game, but I wouldn't feel that would have made much difference. I've played both briefly and in terms of the input and the responsiveness of the screen I can't really see any difference. Skip all of this. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the sound also is higher. I'm not sure if that's just, uh, no, they're both at the maximum. But the speaker, is loud on a Samsung Galaxy S2 and deeper. The gunshot sounds a lot more tinny on the iPhone I put touch. Okay. Access the games menu. You will find your objective in the goals tab. Access the games menu. You will find your objective in the goals tab. Not sure if you can see the difference in terms of the blues and the reds on the screen on the Samsung Galaxy S2 are just more brighter and pops out more. more. So that was just a brief test to display the screen, the CPU speed and the screen responsiveness of both the Samsung Galaxy S2 in comparison with an iPod Touch 4.